2022 Hevel Tank 300. Looks like a 2021 Ford Bronco Chinese copycat, so to speak. Chinese automakers have a long and storied history of copying designs from the West. Take, for instance, the 2021 uh, Way Tank 300 off-road utility vehicle that shows a lot of the 2021 Ford Bronco influences up front. I don't have a picture of the um, 2022 Havel Tank 300 due to copyright issues, so we're just going to talk about it in light of the Bronco. Now, it's presented at, um, at Xingdu Auto Show in July 2020. The body-on-frame SUV aims to capture a piece of the Australian uh, market next year, registered with the IP or intellectual property Australia. The 2022 Havel Tank 300, as it will be known, is a part of the world is expected with two engine choices and two transmission options. Now, based on the customer survey, a car advice believes that the 2.0 liter uh, turbo four-cylinder motor with an eight-speed auto will open the list with a 167, uh, well, basically a kilowatt, but basically 224 horsepower and 285 pound-feet of torque. Now, the next level up would be the 2.4 liter turbo uh, diesel, kicking out 181 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque on tap. Now, over in the Middle Kingdom, a twin-turbo V6 with 3.0 liter of displacement uh, with a plug-in hybrid assistance and a 9-speed automatic gearbox are also going to be offered. So it's going to be a V6 with the uh, plug-in hybrid assistance also will be offered. Now, named after the tank platform, uh, this fill is going to be rocking a locking differential, a 2-speed transfer case, uh, 9 driving modes, 360-degree camera, a multi link a uh, live rear axle independent suspension up front now according to the great wall motors uh minimum ground clearance is estimated at um 8.8 .8 inches while maximum is going to be the maximum depth is 40 inches that's quite nice because i think the ford bronco is only 35. now it's inspired by the jeep wrangler unlimited from the side profile of this um Hevel tank uh, 300 which it promises a lot of off uh, the beaten path type of use. Now the approach and departure angles are going to be 36.3 uh, and 37.2 degrees respectively. And that's going to thrill any off-roader. <laughs> but this Chinese copycat has a fatal flaw the Wrangler and the Bronco don't have. Uh, and it's more to do with the uh, aftermarket mods and official accessories are close to non-existence. But I'm sure, some, I'm sure that the um, Chinese are really... You know they're really into their their capital. Basically, they're capitalists. They and they don't hold each other back with the copyright laws. And to me, that looks like a benefit because I think what makes the one percent people stay wealthy is the copyright laws. You can't put out anything that looks like something that somebody else did. And I think that should be. I think that's definitely you know what it does is stops the uh, spread of wealth. Now. This particular um, SUV, the Havel Tank, is a fair bit shorter than the Wrangler, uh, 46, uh, 4670 versus 4882 millimeters, which is equivalent to 183.8 inches and um, 192.2 inches, respectively. Now, the Bronco Face Tank 300 can hit 62 in 10 seconds. Now, as far as the base engine is concerned, we're talking about it can get up to 106 miles per hour. And it's also two-wheel drive. And that's in high two-wheel drive high. So, so this is pretty pretty interesting. Um, the Havel Tank and the Ford Bronco. This is Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Hi, this is Bruce from AO Automotive Reviews. Encouraging you to subscribe, to like, and to continue watching these videos. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to putting out a lot more great content. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Much love. Peace out.